first, a fight against what neighbors are calling a sex club. Residents in a South Las Vegas neighborhood say it has taken over their entire block and they are fed up. Hello and thanks for joining us live at 11. I'm Trisha Keen. Our Alyssa Bethencourt visited the area and explains why the property has a county's attention. For most of each week, this house in South Las Vegas sits quiet and unoccupied, but when Friday and Saturday roll around, things get busy. Guests visiting the property enter through this back gate trying to be discreet, but neighbors say they believe what's going on inside is X-rated and they want it shut down. At first glance, this South Las Vegas home seems like any other, but residents say there's too much human interaction going on behind closed doors. It's a very strange vibe in this neighborhood. <laughs> Kelly Amar lives just across the street. She says the area has always been quiet up until last month when dozens of cars and hundreds of people started showing up for what she believes was the first of many sex parties. It was an Airbnb rental property and now it has become a swingers club. Posts on social media pages promote the property as a one stop shop for promotion promiscuous events. The ads call it Club SLV or Sensual Lifestyle Vibrations, a space offering the safest and most inclusive atmosphere possible to explore your wildest interest. This does not belong in a residential neighborhood. If it does, put it in your neighborhood. Record searches show the home's owner as LMNOP Properties LLC, a company owned by licensed Nevada realtor Jason Elman. Frustrated neighbors contacted Elman hoping he would step in, but say he's not talking. We also reached out several times, but did not get a response. Former Clark County District Attorney David Roger explains any residential property operating as a business is likely in violation of code, and it's only a matter of time before it's shut down. Whether there's prostitution going on in there or it's swingers that are paying a fee to go meet other swingers, it's still illegal. Clark County Code Enforcement confirms officers have been to the property several times, even posting this cease and desist letter on the garage for violating the zoning ordinance. That notice has since been taken down. Meanwhile, the options and calendar of events for Club SLV continue to expand. Now I know everything about swingers clubs. Like I know I could teach a course. Aside from what's going on inside, neighbors say party favors are spilling into the street, such as condoms, liquor bottles, and other trash. The people themselves haven't been terrible. They've just been loud and partying a lot, but we're worried about what could come in. Now, neighbors say they have no problem with people doing what they want in private. They just don't want Club SLV so close to home. Meantime, the county had no comment other than to share the matter is under investigation. Reporting in South Las Vegas, I'm Melissa Bethencourt.